John C. Fontaine live and direct back here from City Hall. I'm out here with Weed Man, man. New Jersey's own Weed Man, right? All right, man. So uh, a lot of times, you know, I brought your attention because basically you was on the cover of the Philadelphia Weekly here. All right, so um, tell them a little bit um, why we on the Philadelphia Weekly and what news did you just hear about, you know, what's going on? the legalization of marijuana. But the Philadelphia Weekly, they're following up on my court case. I have a court case beginning uh, on the 19th of October in Burlington County, New Jersey, for I got basically busted with a pound of my medical marijuana. And I am a resident of California and New Jersey. I had a California doctor's note and on one trip from my California doctor's license, medical marijuana license. <laughs> On a, on a trip from California, I, I got busted when I got into Mount Holly, New Jersey, and I decided to take it to take it all the way to the jury, and I'm arguing to the jury that the law is wrong, not I. Now, uh, something interesting just happened where you was actually uh, mailing, you know, uh, marijuana to the governor. Yeah, well, from California, I'm constantly reading articles that the governor doesn't want New Jersey's medical marijuana um, bill bill to turn out like California's laws. They, 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 California has become a mafia. I personally think that California is doing it right. He criticizes and, and uh, questions if marijuana really has medicinal value. So I've been mailing medical marijuana uh, for a couple months now. I've actually been mailing to several different politicians in New Jersey saying this to me. I welcome the court case, I welcome an indictment, and I will utilize jury notification if I can to prove my point. But today, I was told by a reporter actually that. Jersey is indicting That's me what I'm for mail mailing marijuana from California to the governor. And this is the second time I got indicted for, for something I mailed to the governor. <laughs> I have to tell you, in 2003, when New Jersey first passed its DNA law, I argued that I was not going to get my DNA. I took a picture of my ass. I mailed a letter to the governor of New Jersey, Governor Grevy, before I knew he was gay. I mailed a letter to him. <laughs> said the only way he's going to get a copy of my DNA is to kiss my ass okay. and retrieve the DNA off his lips. <laughs> and I promptly got charged with criminal contempt, which, by the way, I won that case too. I won more cases than I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> when you lose, you go to prison. All right, so right now, support the Philly movement. We thank you for doing that, man. One time for the 99%. And so if, those went, if they wanted to find you um, on the internet, they can actually reach you at where? Tell people the best way is to go to njweedman.com. There, all my contact information is there. My links to my Facebook, my links to even my MySpace is still there. My emails, <laughs> and of course, I'm always advocating besides smoking good marijuana, <laughs> jury nullification. <laughs> so we thank you for doing the thing. Legalize it. Salute. One time for 99%.